in the clear, bright morning of August 6, 1945, an atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima, Japan. The pilots of the United States Air Force's 509th Composite Group could see flowers in the gardens below. The bomb weighed 9,000 pounds and was as powerful as 12 and a half thousand tons of TNT. The bomb exploded within 100 feet of the target. The fireball was 18,000 feet across. The temperature at the center of the fireball was as hot as the surface of the sun. Near the center, people became nothing. Near the center, there was no sound. Like a sheet of traveling sun, eyes turned up to the bomb melted. Within nine seconds, 100,000 people were killed or doomed, and 100,000 more injured. Within nine seconds, the city caught fire. Asphalt and steel burned like paper. Then the day grew black with smoke and dust. Over the city rose a cloud of smoke 40,000 feet high. Two hours later, drops of black rain, the size of marbles, began to fall. Remember, I remember. A big light comes, very strong light. I never see so strong. I do not know what is happening. My friend, she and I are always together, but I could not find her. So dark it gets, so red like a fire. Always smoking dark red. I cannot see anyone. Many people run. I just follow. Pretty soon like fog. Red fog, then gray. And people down all around me. Many people look so awful. Skin come off. Just awful. Makes me so scared, so afraid. I never knew such hurt on people. That human. I think, if I'm in hell, it is like this. No faces, no eyes, red and burnt over things, like women's hair, dusty and smoking with burning. Many people go into the river. I watch them. Many people are drinking water, but they fall in and die, and they float away. Voices cry, calling names. I cannot hear because so many voices cry or calling names. So many voices. The light from the bomb created permanent shadows, burned into wood and etched onto stone. Leaves, flowers, and men disappeared. In Hiroshima on that day, there was no panic, only ghastly stillness, the quiet of death. People moved slowly along the roads, like ghosts covered with dust and ash, and fell dead as they walked. By the river, people lay bleeding from their faces or hands and died without weeping. People trapped under fallen houses called patiently, meekly, help, if I may ask. on that day, half the doctors were killed. At the hospitals, between three and 10,000 people came each day for help. And each day, 2,000 of them died. They were buried together because they were too many to bury separately.
people lived in the hospitals. They had no other place to go. The center of Hiroshima was a reddish brown scar four miles square. Between fallen buildings lay crumpled bicycles and shells of streetcars in mid motion. On piles of rubble and ash, children placed handwritten signs. Sister, where are you? In Hiroshima, no one knew what had happened. Almost no one heard the Japanese radio announce that the city had suffered some damage from what was believed to be a new type of bomb, and details were being investigated. Still, the war continued.